so so the first auxiliary banking and finances what is banking and finances in very general term students all of these things we will study in detail in our further uh, whether in class 11th syllabus or in class 12th syllabus so i'm just giving you an, um, a brief outline of what what are these things and what are their functions so banking and finances banking or finances kya hote hain very simple in the general term mein samajhiye is cheez ko this is the active this is the thing from where there is a traders or the manufacturers get their credits or their loans or uh, liquidifying of checks overdrafts is a bahut sare terms hote hain all this you will become familiar with uh, gradually when you will study or you must have been studying other subjects like accounting and uh, all those things so you will understand not a worry that what are these terms bade alag alag terms aa rahe hain but just understand all the problems of manufacturers or the precisely if you say all the मनी रिलेटेड और फाइनेंस रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ ट्रेडर्स जो भी प्रॉब्लम होते हैं उसको सॉल्व करने के लिए जो भी उनके हेल्पिंग हैंड होते हैं दोज आर टर्म एज बैंकिंग एंड फाइनेंसेस दिस आर द बैंकिंग एंड फाइनेंसेस ऑग्जिलरीज ऑफ ट्रेड एंड दे सॉल्व ऑल द फाइनेंस रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ ट्रेडर्स देन कम्स इंश्योरेंस दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग वॉट इंश्योरेंस इज how does this insurance auxiliates or facilitates trade just now we have seen that uh, from noida mobile phone is being uh, sent to all parts of our country from china actually it is coming to india from india it is going to sri lanka australia or whatever market it is going so obviously itne dur dur cheeze things are being uh, sent to such long distances there must be risk also raste mein kahin chori ho jaye theft is there or due to accident there are losses of the product or whatever it in any way if there is a loss of product in the way or not only in the way actually this insurance takes place for the manufacturer also at the manufacturing point also but here we are concerned only for the trades therefore we are talking about the trade activity so in that whole trade activities if anything happens to the product any damage or any losses are incurred in the trade activity so how it will be covered up so to cover up that thing there is the insurance sector it ensures that if in the process of trade any loss or damages are being incurred by the party involved then that thing doesn't uh, affects at a greater extent in obviously insurance is not going to compensate of each and every loss or the whole loss but to some extent it does compensates then comes transportation same as i have explained you the things are being sent to the corners of the country not only to the countries but from one continent to other continents so obviously it needs the transportation facilities whether it is roadways or it is railways or it is airways or it is waterways all those uh, uh, entities which are facilitating traders to dispose of their products from one place to another they are the that is the transportation then communication communication it hinders the uh, it uh, solves the hindrance of information okay uh, for example just understand that if a party b who is a wholesaler have given an order of 2000 mobile phones to party a and party a has said that okay i'll send it on monday fine and uh, uh, the estimated time is just uh, say that 24 hours to reach from a to b a se b tak pahunchne mein 24 ghante lagne hain aur bola gaya ki monday ko hum bhej denge it now it is tuesday and the consignment of 2000 mobile phones has not reached to b so what will b do ab b uth ke jaye a ke paas aur dekhe ki aapne kyun nahi bheja so this information jo hai wo usko nahi mil rahi hai so how this information related problem will be solved it will be solved through communication earlier there were very less effective communication modes for the traders they had used they were suppose they were they didn't had any option they used to travel that those long distances to see that what has happened but nowadays we have mobile phones emails various things are there i hope you understand that how communication facilitates trade then warehousing that is storage now see it is not mandatory that all the wholesalers or the cnf agents or the depot holders are having adequate place to store the uh, products which we have which they have ordered from the uh, manufacturers so kya hota hai ki unko help karne ke liye kuch log isi business mein hote hain some people are in the business of warehousing only simply what is warehousing warehousing means a party is offering 
place or to store the products of second party ठीक है एक पार्टी ने बहुत सारा प्रोडक्ट मंगा लिया उसको रखने की जगह नहीं है तो एक देर विल बी अ पार्टी हु विल ऑफर दिस थिंग दैट वी आर गिविंग यू स्पेस टू स्टोर योर प्रोडक्ट एंड इन दैट एक्सचेंज दे विल चार्ज फॉर दैट वॉट एवर चार्जेस मे बी एंड देन देर इज एडवर्टीजमेंट हाउ डज इज फेसिलिटेट्स टू ट्रेड एडवर्टीजमेंट इज नथिंग बट इट इज creating awareness of a product in mind of the consumers so i hope that now you all have understood what is trade types of trade based on volume based on geographical boundary internal trade external trade export import wholesaling retailing and also auxiliaries to trade auxiliaries means all those activities which facilitate trade that is banking and finances insurance transportation communication warehousing and advertisement so just go through all these uh, uh, videos very deeply try to listen what i have told you what examples i have i have given you because the understanding business studies concepts only by reading books is not enough for students if you are thinking that aap sirf kitab padh padh ke samajh lenge it's not easy i am not saying that it is impossible but what i think it's not easy so it is very important that listen to the examples the practical or the day to day examples which i am giving you in the Uh, videos in order to make a clear and precise understanding of the